Good morning guys, Milwaukee here. Today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial and demonstration of how to braise. Um, brazing is where you take two pieces of metal, you heat them up, and apply a filler um, to basically weld the two pieces together. So what you'll need is um, obviously two pieces of metal, just two pieces of um, steel, be sure to use steel um, or something like that. Do not use aluminum. I'm not sure if you can do it on, on aluminum or not. I have not tried it. I have heard that if you do use it on aluminum, it will put off um, harmful gases. So um, uh, only do it on steel and things that you have researched or know that you can braze on. Um, and then you'll need some filler. You guys probably can hardly see that. There you go. It's like blinging all the place. Um, some filler. Um, a torch of some sort. Uh, this is just regular map gas um, you can get from Home Depot. Um, and you can't just use this here to break, or like, you can't ignite, um, you can't get a flame out of this canister here. You need a, um, I'm not sure what you would call this, but like a head. Um, also Burnzomatic, same brand. Um, this is just the one that I've um, been taught on and learned on. So um, I'm just going to be using this one. You can get other ones that are, that you can light with a lighter or whatever. Not, not like a cigarette lighter, but like a uh, a sparker. That's what those things are called. You will also need some brazing flux, general purpose brazing flux. Um, flux basically just helps the filler adhere to the to your pieces. Um, I have no particular use for these. Where I'm not going to be doing anything with them afterwards. I'm just giving you guys a demonstration. So. Um, I, since this is a metal table, I like to have a fire brick on hand to braze on because then the table doesn't soak up all the heat that I'm trying to keep on my metal. Okay, airplane. Um, the other thing you'll need to consider is safety. Um, be sure that you're wearing closed toed shoes, appropriate um, clothes, not polyester or um, nylon or anything like that because if you catch on fire or if your clothes catch on fire that stuff melts it doesn't burn so be sure to you that you have on like cotton or um, just something like that that won't melt to your skin and then burn you and that really really hurts um, safety goggles glasses whatever um, Gloves, also a must. Um, if you have long hair, be sure you tie it back. And I just realized I forgot something. Let me go get it. Alright, you also need a wire brush uh, for just cleaning your joint in the end. Um, so, let's uh, go ahead and get started. Clear some of this stuff off that we don't need. Just move things around. That down there. Um, Safety glasses on. I do have an oxyacetylene torch. Well, it's not mine. It's my dad's. We share it, of course. Um, I do. We do have an oxyacetylene torch that though, requires my dad's supervision to use because it is big and the tanks require special care. And I have used that before, just in case you're wondering. Um, so okay, maybe I shouldn't put these on yet, because otherwise you get clumsy. Go ahead and take the cap off the tank, screw on your um, head, whatever this thing is called. I have no idea what this is called. Make sure it's secure on there. Uh, don't open the gas until you're ready. Now, I'll put my glove on. I don't usually use gloves. Uh, just because it's harder with gloves, I find. But because I'm giving a tutorial, I'm going to tell you to use gloves. 
even though I don't usually use gloves. So, just take the two pieces, set them down there. Um, you know what? I also have a magnet. Let me go get that. Alright, found it. So, I have, I have a, or we have, my dad and I have a big welding magnet. It doesn't work much, very well anymore, but um, you can use a magnet like this just to secure your pieces to each other so that they don't move. Um, or so that it's harder for them to move. It's kind of awkward sometimes to use a magnet. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to use one. Well, I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll see if that becomes helpful. Oh, here we go. That down underneath. There we go. That's what we'll do. Mm. Okay, good enough. There we go. That works. Um, let me... Well, um... I haven't done this for a while, and I haven't filmed it before, of course, so I'm trying to figure out what to do next. So, I think you guys can see okay. I'm just going to zoom you in. There we go. So what you're going to want to do is um, you're going to want to just heat your metal up until it becomes bright orange, like a very bright orange color. Um, and then you can start applying your filler. So, uh, you guys can see that. So you want to turn on your gas uh, that way. Open it all the way up. There we go. And so before you do, before you start um, heating your piece, you want to heat the filler right here. Um, and then you want to dip it in the flux so that it, um, so that you can get some flux on there. There we go. Just like that. You see the white stuff on there? That is flux. So now we can go ahead and start heating up the metal and, um, start sticking it in there. There we go. As you can see, see so if you can get in any closer there. I think you guys can see all right. Right there is where we just raised together. It's still very hot, so do not touch it. Um, you should also have a pair of pliers on hand, which I forgot because I'm worrying more about uh, what you guys are seeing, not what I'm doing. So, um, as you saw, we heated it up and. It got very hot, bright orange. Hopefully you guys were able to see in the video. I'll have to check the footage, but uh, it heated it up and um, got a bright orange. And then you saw that I start to touch the um, touch the filler to uh, this piece here on top, and it just started to kind of flow on. 
and that's and that's good. You want to make sure that it's really, really, really nice and hot, so that your braze or so that your filler just flows right on. There shouldn't be any just holding it there, waiting for it to melt. It should just flow right on. Um, so that turned out pretty good. Um, I'm gonna go grab a pliers and uh, we can clean it off. All right, pliers acquired. Uh, all right, so we got our pliers. Okay, that magnet does not work very well anymore. Um, and keep in mind, all this stuff is going to be very hot, so... Push it off to the side there. Grab our brush from earlier. Let's see, how do I usually brush it? This. Start kind of cleaning it off. And if you want, you can also um, use like a bench grinder to clean it up a little bit more if you need. If you want it nice and shiny gold colored. You can use a bench grinder or whatever you must. I'm very tempted to touch this right now, but you do not, and I quote, you do not want to touch this. I have accidentally touched super hot things before, and it sucks. I got my finger burned on a soldering iron. Okay, that's good enough. Um, I have some water on hand, uh, that I can just drop it in real quick to cool it off. Alright, got it uh, quenched, which is what that would be called, quenching it. Um, I usually like to quench my stuff, um, just because that's what I do. Because I like things fast, and I like things now. Um, so as you can see there, we have the nice, uh, nope, wait, it's over here, there we go. Got that nice bit of gold on there. It's not actual gold. Um, Obviously, because then I would be selling this stuff. <laughs> but uh, it turned out okay, not the greatest. Uh, there's some slag on there, but that's okay. Um, so that's pretty much how you how you braze. Make sure that when you're done with the torch, turn off the gas, and you can take the the head off. I have again. I'm saying this a lot. I have no clue what this thing is called. Go. There. Does it say anything on here? <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't say. But uh, it's pretty much going to be the tutorial on how to braise. Um, y it's not the cleanest of ways to do things. There's better ways to do stuff like this if you had a a uh, MIG or a TIG welder, that's a much better way to be doing something like this. But um, I don't have one of those. I have an arc welder, um, oxyacetylene tanks. And so this works for me. And uh, it's a pretty good way to get, like, to kind of start learning how to metal work and stuff like that. Um, you can pick up most of the stuff at your local Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, some of the stuff like the um, like the filler and flux you may have to get online. I'm not sure about that. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. Um, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Make sure you click that bell next to the subscribe button to get notified of all the videos that come out. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Goodbye.